everyone, Nisha here from nishawillery.com. If you know it's time to start using a project management tool to organize your online business, but you're torn between Asana and Trello, then today's video is going to break down why I personally think that Asana is the best choice. I've used both Trello and Asana, but I just overall love Asana way more. I use it to manage all of my business projects from my content creation to my course launches. I've used it with my clients and I've also taught over a thousand students how to use it as well. Now, before we jump into this comparison between Trello and Asana, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Okay, let's dive in and let the Asana versus Trello battle begin. So point number one, inside of Asana, you can view your projects as boards, calendars, or lists, and you can switch between them. So even if you create a project in a list format and decide one day you'd rather view it as a board, you can do so by just clicking board. Whereas in Trello, you can only view your projects as boards or calendars. Trello unfortunately doesn't give you the ability to view your projects in a list format like Asana does. Point number two, you can view all of your projects in one calendar inside of Asana and it is beautifully color coordinated so you can see every task has the color that was assigned to that project so you can understand which projects you have scheduled for which days. You can even add tasks to this calendar that aren't assigned to any project. All you need to do is click anywhere on the calendar, create that task, and as you can see, that task is white so that you can tell it apart from the tasks that belong to projects. Those would be the color coordinated ones, unless of course you haven't given them a color. This is my favorite page in Asana. I'm here every single day. I can open up this calendar and see from one page the tasks that I need to complete for the day. I don't have to keep skipping between projects to view the tasks due for each day. To me, that just would feel like a very messy process and just a lot of skipping around between projects. Inside of Trello, you can view each individual project in a calendar format, but there's unfortunately no way to view all of your projects on one calendar page like Asana. Now we're back inside of Asana, on to point three, which is progress reports. This area lets the project owner announce to team members or clients how the project is progressing. You simply set the status and write a summary of the project progress. You could use this area to have conversations with team members and clients about progress and what they need to improve on to get the project back on track if it is behind. Or you could use this area to update your team members or clients on whether the project deadline is changing, for instance. Over into Trello. Trello doesn't have a progress reports area. Everything in Trello must be linked to one of your project's tasks. That means there's no room in Trello projects for pages like Asana's progress reports page, where the progress is linked to the overall project instead of just linked to a task. On to point four inside Asana, the conversations area. Here you can have a conversation with project members that isn't tied to any of the tasks in the project, but instead is about the overall project itself. Whereas inside of Trello, there isn't any conversations area like that. Trello doesn't have a method for communicating with a project's team members or admins. The only way to leave a message is to comment on one of the tasks. So of course, if you need to discuss something with a client or team member that isn't related to a task inside the project, there's nowhere to do this. Now, finally, we move on to point number five back in Asana. Asana allows you to mark tasks as complete by clicking the tick on each task. You can also use the filters inside of your projects to very easily and quickly view complete or incomplete tasks. Over in Trello though, you can only mark tasks as complete if they have a due date attached to them. 
For the reasons I've shared today, Asana is the winner in my opinion. For me, the biggest difference of all five that I've shared today is that Asana has a calendar that allows you to view all of your project tasks in one place. Instead of having to skip between projects to see the tasks from each project that need completing each day. Asana offers way more features and it just feels much more streamlined for my liking. Now I have a quick and basic Asana tutorial that you can go and watch. I will link to that on this video and also below this video. I also teach you the full ins and outs of Asana in my best-selling course, Organize and Automate. So if you'd like to join over a thousand students in there and learn how to use not just Asana, but how to organize your entire online service-based business, then go to organizeandautomate.com or click the link below this video. All right, that is it for me in this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and it helped you decide between Trello and Asana. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up because it helps it get in front of many more business owners who may need it. And I will see you next week.